this campaign was top secret. But now that it's live, let's pull back the curtain and see what really went down behind the Odd Muse Pearl Dress relaunch. Before diving in, I had my reservations. The fashion world can be perceived as cutthroat and competitive, but the reality was quite the opposite. First up, the application process. I found out about the secret campaign through social media. I nominated myself to be part of a casting process. I wasn't sure when it would take place, the selection process, but I love the brand. I love the style, it's very me, and I'm a huge believer of pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone and learning from the process. So that's exactly what I did. I received this email. The email was rather vague. I decided to double down on this process. I signed up for a slot for the casting call. Then came the casting. The casting call was held in the same place they had their sample cell. I was in the office this day. I had my time slot confirmed. I just wore what I wore to the office, which was just an odd news blazer. I think it was the black one. I just showed up. There were a few girls waiting. Like The Odd Muse staff were just so good. They made you feel really comfortable. They took our bags, explained the process, asked for our clothing size so that they could arrange the dresses. And it was just a seamless process. So the dresses themselves, they gave me one of the white pearl dresses and I'm a size 8 to 10 so I didn't expect to be an extra small which could explain why their blazers are slightly oversized on me because I went for a small and I normally go for a small literally everywhere. It was a bit difficult to get on at first but there's a hack. Dip it up from the front, spin it round so you can really fit into it like a glove. I just felt like my ribs were too wide and I was just like oh great I can't fit in this dress. I started to get all flustered. They took some headshots, asked to confirm my name and my dress size and after they did that they then said to walk in front of like a panel. The panel being Amy, the founder, her social media assistant, Sophie, and her other, I think she's a buyer's assistant called Alice. I did like a twirl. They asked me how I felt in the dress. It was the most flattering boost that I've had in a dress ever cannot fault it. I wore the dress without a bra. Honestly, it looks better without a bra. It's got quite a wide front section. You don't really want a bra in the way, so I just preferred it without. And still to give the uplift, it just felt so, so figure hugging. Amy and the girls, they asked what I did for a living and I was like, it's actually my last job in my corporate role. They asked if I was comfortable in heels, which of course being a corporate girly, I literally live in heels. So like I really didn't expect them to be so lovely. They were so nice. When I got changed to leave, I went to grab my bags and right at the end, they gave me a gift bag. I'll show you what the gift is because I haven't actually unwrapped it yet. I thought I'd wait until today. So they gave me a free gift and honestly, I wasn't expecting it at all. It just goes to show they respect people's time and their efforts to go there. And obviously people were paying for travel to get to London. It was such a nice touch, very well received. Inside bag number one, we have the perfume that they gave to me after the casting. These retail around 50 pounds, really nice touch. We're gonna unbox it together. I can smell it already, it smells quite nice. It's quite a feminine light fragrance. No notes, unfortunately. It might say on the website. It's just called Ultimate Muse. So after the casting call, I knew that they were shooting the campaign the following week and that it would be a couple of days. I was hoping to know before the weekend just so that I could plan the week. And then I received an email on my last day of my corporate job saying that I'd successfully casted on their campaign and that we'd be finding out more in due course. In the final email, we received the notification that they were relaunching the pearl dress. I didn't expect it at all. I honestly just thought it would have been a similar shape or something like that. We were told to bring heels and that the shoot would be between two to three hours to arrive at our call time so they split everyone into groups. This is where the second bag comes in. So this was just for my stuff so I was in group B they actually changed my dress from a white dress to a black dress for the day. If you know me, you know that I only really wear black clothes, which came as a nice surprise. I had actually gone to buy some white shoes. These are the white shoes that I bought for the campaign. So I bought these from Zara. They're a slightly smaller heel than I'm used to. They're more like a kitten heel to me. Um, and they have this really cute bow on the front. This would make the most sense with the white dress. Well, 
As soon as I was told it was black dress, I was like absolutely mortified because I had the most beautiful pair of black heels, but I didn't have them with me. But I still rocked the white heels and I actually really liked how it came out because it just gave that little lift to the outfit. So you had obviously the pearls and then the pop of the shoe. And here it is. It's got a really good weight to it. And this is the brand, Odd Muse. The organisation actually blew me away. So they set everyone in different groups. The groups were between five to six people, I believe, or seven people. We all had different times to go with a videographer or the social media girl or the photographer. The night before the campaign, I needed to put some purple shampoo in my hair because I felt like my hair was a little too yellow at the front. Um, I used this purple shampoo <laughs> and my hair went purple. Literally my hair was purple and I didn't realise, I didn't believe that I didn't have the time to wash it out so that instantly got me on the back foot. Yeah. <laughs> it's so purple. Ready to go? See you there. Just arrived in London and it's raining of course but I'm hoping for some sunny weather today. Just need to run into one of the hotels to check my eyelashes because I've just put them on on the train and I'm not really gone. But it's a quickly run into the hotel and then jump in the tube, head to Leicester Square and it all begins from there. So arrived at Leicester Square, I just need to now find the road. I don't think it's too far actually. We're almost there, I believe I'm on the right street. I've just got to find the shop. I'm looking forward to it, the sun's actually come out, it's stopped raining, so I don't think we're gonna get washed away. Cotton Garden, we're right next to Cotton Garden. Say hello to you too. <laughs> Just a behind the scenes of what we did today at the Odd News store. It's down near the Seven Dials Covent Garden. We all got dressed in our dresses. We all went outside and we had a chaperone. So they'd organised a chaperone per group to look after our phones, our drinks, anything that we wanted to bring with us. They allocated so many members of staff to this day. Like it blows my mind. There were so many people. There was one part of the campaign that I wasn't entirely happy with. And I'm only telling you because it wouldn't be fair to say all of this good and not actually be wholly truthful. But there was one part where we went off with this photographer and we had some group shots together, but also we were supposed to have individual shots. The people that I were with had their full headshots taken. The photographer only took photos of my chest and it was literally like she just aimed the camera here and was only taking pictures like of and I understand that it was a campaign for the dress and the main feature of the dress are the pearls and the pearls are in the neckline. There was that part of it, it just felt a little bit degrading. It did give my boobs quite a lift and it was quite a flattering look, but I didn't feel flattered at all. All in all, it was a good experience. So I don't want this to feel like I'm weighing it down. But after we'd done the shoots with the staff and with the photographer. We decided to just make some TikToks and some Instagram content. It was a brilliant day. So would I recommend for people to buy the dress? Absolutely. <laughs> I, I really would. It's got that sort of Chanel-esque feel about it. This special occasion dress that you can wear again and again. I will definitely be wearing mine again. I'm not really a dress girly. I'm more of a suits girl. But that has just made me want to buy more of that sort of style you know, celebrate cleavage as well. Like I'm, I'm always so reserved, like with the high neck and you know, the blazers and the layering and all of that, that's just me. But like this just gave me a new side of me that I hadn't really seen in a long time. The biggest lesson from shooting the pearl dress campaign. One day you will realize that true happiness comes from within. No external factors can define it. It was always about you. 
is take the leap of faith. Sign up for opportunities even if doubt creeps in. You never know what amazing experiences will await. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will leave the link to Odd Muse down below just in case you want to shop. They do ship globally as well, I believe. Please do just look into the returns policies and also double check the sizing. Thanks for joining me on this journey behind the scenes. Like and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Until next time, stay focused.